I hope that everybody's paying attention. The price of season has started to go up slowly but surely. The rain for the past few days is not going to make that any better. And we're going now into Diwali season and then into Christmas season. So the price is not going to be going in a downward trend at all. So that's why we're going to take some time this week to learn a bit about how to start your own season garden. So you can save some money and you can provide for yourself and your family. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, thank you all so so very much for joining in. This is Dylan from the Trini Gardeners channel and I'm so happy that you made it for this video. I get questions all the time, it's probably my, the most popular question I get, which is regarding growing seasoning in your garden, having a seasoning garden. And it's something that I have neglected to talk about, not willingly, but I've been on other things. And I think now I'm going to dedicate the time towards it. And I think this is going to be the first of a series of videos on the topic of growing seasoning and having a seasoning garden. The thing about seasoning is that it's not like other plants like your tomatoes or your bison or your peppers where you can say, okay, the price is high right now. Like right now, tomatoes is pretty high, $16 a pound, where you could have gotten a pound for like five, six dollars a month ago, five pounds to 20 most places. Right now it's very high. And people are just up, then okay, they're just gonna dial back on eating tomatoes. Seasoning is a little bit harder to do that, especially for a Trinbagonian where we're addicted to seasoning. We can't have food unless it's very, very seasoned. Like I don't know if people in other countries understand how we are obsessed with seasoning, but we literally will probably starve before we eat something that is under seasoned. We will do whatever we need to do to get seasoned and especially fresh seasoning. Now, of course, when season is cheap, you put it in the blender, you blend it, you freeze it. I hope that everybody knows that and it stays and it can come out and it can be fair and fair. I don't know what that word was. Fresh enough. But for, like, if you talk to any of the people in my family, they don't like that. They want it fresh. And that means paying high prices when the price is high. And that's fair enough if the farmer can benefit or if the third party or whoever can benefit, then that helps the economy. That's, you know, that's great. But as much as possible, people do ask and not everybody has the means to have their own, to buy seasoning like that when the price is high. So we're going to talk about how to have it in your own garden. And I think that all of the crops that we talk about today, they're all going to be a video in themselves. I can do an entire video on just one crop. But today I'm just going to do an overview of some of the crops that I have here in the garden. And hopefully this gives you an inspiration of how you could start your seasoning garden because it's very, very easy. It's nothing complicated at all. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, and especially don't get stressed out. You know, there's people very often, they try to grow celery one time, the celery didn't do good, and all of a sudden they have a black thumb. They never want to see a plant again. They just know it's not for them. That's not how gardening works. Gardening is trial and error, and sometimes it's more error than actually anything, but, you do get to a point because it's a learning curve a learning curve never goes all the way up so you're bad at it you're bad at it but it stops and then you stop being bad at it and all of a sudden you get good at it and then you're able to save a lot of money i can't remember the last time i bought some of these crops that i'm going to show you today but the rain is falling well it just started to fall so i'm going to pause and i'll be back when it's drier it looks like the rain is going to be off and on but i don't really have the time to be going back and forth so if you see a bit of drizzle just i hope it doesn't bother you too very much I will start off by showing you all one or two of the seasons that I have here because I really want you to see how easy it is to grow seasoning that it doesn't matter where you live, whether you have land, whether you have space for it, if you're in an apartment, you can have seasoning, right? So I, I hope by now you probably know that I eat a lot of ice cream, um, to my detriment. And here is an ice cream container with celery growing inside. This inside here, the soil that I've used, it's a simple garden soil meaning soil that I dug up from the backyard here. It's a mixture of some, um, some pebbles. The pebbles aren't a big part of it, but just random clay that is just in the back and is nothing really fancy at all. Something that I will often tend to do is I'll get a bit of worm castings and just kind of mix that into the mixture when I put it into here. But this one, I've, I'm pretty sure I didn't put any worm castings into this. And this has been growing here for about a month now from seedling and it's shooting up. I mean, if you have access to any kind of garden soil, whether it's your neighbor land, you get some permission. You just take out a little bit of soil like this. This is less than one gallon. No affiliation with this brand. It's an easy, cheap way to start to grow your own seasoning because at some time in the year, celery would be $3 for a celery. 
and then other times of the year you're paying ten dollars for one celery twelve dollars for one celery it gets crazy especially right now you see the rain starting in the country um going down um holidays like diwali coming up then you're going to go into christmas these prices are going to go high and they're going to probably go higher than they've ever been not to fear monger but it's just the reality and we see it year after year so let's get prepared for it and if you think that that was small look at this this is a tiny tiny container and we have scythe growing inside of it scythe is another one that right now i think you can get scythe for three four dollars for scythe and then other times of the year you're paying ten dollars for a scythe that's six seven dollars more money that you'd have to normally pay for one scythe if you're buying two three scythe you spend a lot of money twenty dollars is a lot of money to spend on something you can grow in what is this this is like a big cup that's all that it is with a bit of soil inside of there it's a handful of soil and it's growing in then um, there's something inside of here i want to show you all let me see if i can get it to focus up right i want you all to see this what is that inside here can any of you recognize it what do you think it is that's a tiny let me see if this thing is focusing because it always does that and it stops focusing Oop. there we are back that's a tiny little bandanya plant shadow benny for those of you out of the country people um shadow benny is of course the most popular by far season that we have in trinidad and that is an entire video or series by itself because I didn't plant that shadow benny inside of there, that bandania. I'm going to use the word bandania because that's what I grew up on and that's what I know. Um, bandania is amazing to grow because it's very independent. And all of these, the two other plants that I showed you there, I bought seedlings for a dollar or 50 cents for a seedling, put it into the container and that's what grew up there. But that bandania, I didn't plant it. So that is something that i want to recommend that you do is that you do not plant bandania by seedling you plant it by seeds what you're going to do is you're going to get some seeds from a bandania plant that is drying up the dry seeds you're just going to sprinkle it all over your garden and when you sprinkle that seed in your garden you just keep it moist you run a hose on the garden sometimes whenever the place is dry or when the rainy season comes just leave it it can take some time but after a few months it can take a while it sometimes can take as much as six months but after that six months you're going to see bananya popping up all over your garden in your containers like i just saw here and it grows into real plants it grows into real big plants and bananya is something that if you don't have any season at all if you have bananya alone you can make chow you can season your chicken you can season everything else it's just the best and it's the way that i grow bananya i grow bananya on autopilot I don't actually take a plug of bananilla and put it into a container. I take seeds, I sprinkle it all over, and I water it, and I hope for the best. And it always works out, no matter if it takes a longer time for it to germinate. When that bananilla grows from seed and it sends down those roots, properly angers itself, it can be there for years, that patch, because the plant will grow up, it will produce more seeds, the seeds will drop, it will produce more plants, and all of a sudden you just have an ongoing cycle of bananilla. That's another way for you to have bandania if you don't have land then take the same thing put it into a container sprinkle the seeds inside the container same regular garden soil nothing too fancy for a lot of these seasons they don't require very much and keep it moist and give it some sunlight and you're going to get some bandania plants it's just one of the best easiest things to grow in your garden one more thing that i want to show you all um this is oh let me take this out here good there we go okay so what do you call this again this is your parsley <laughs> i forget the word for parsley inside this tiny little container it is incredible that these things will grow pretty much anywhere and these things do get pricey they get very very pricey after some time i have some more parsley inside of a container here these are all growing directly on top of concrete on top of concrete just inside the container here so a whole herb garden just inside of these containers another ice cream bucket because you know of course i eat ice cream so it is just one your first go-to way for having your season in your garden containers i would like to plug honorable mention to oh, oh, oh. as we're on the topic of season this isn't really seasoning but it's herbs 
um, but just so that you can see this is a old Clorox bottle right um, where we have rosemary growing and rosemary can grow by cuttings so you just cut it a piece there you put it into the soil and it will grow this I want to transplant it, put it into the ground hopefully get a big enough rosemary plant but the key with rosemary and as I said each of these crops would require an entire video on their own but this is a very general overview rosemary is a Mediterranean um, plant it is around there that area where you have very um ah uh, what's the word for it arid conditions so it doesn't like a lot of water so majority of the times probably 95 percent of the time when people tell me that rosemary died it died because you loved it too much you gave it too much of water these like to dry out they like that and they smell amazing they like to dry out that dryness is what helps them to continue growing and i would probably water this maybe once a month maybe but these days we're getting some sprinkles or showers so i don't water this at all and it's fine like that now if you do have the space and the resources behind me here i have a raised bed that i've kind of neglected for some time i had some stuff growing inside here and i didn't really use it for much in the past few months so it's been overgrown with the weeds since the rains have started but Something like this, if you're able to, would be amazing for you to just have your seasoning because what you could then do is that every time you buy seasoning, like you buy some sive, you buy some bandania, you could just cut off the roots, just cut it about an inch to two inches above the roots and just take the roots and stick it down into the raised bed. I have a video on my channel that I'll put up here where you can see the entire tutorial on how to start a raised bed like this. It's super simple. It's just i'm trying to say bricks or blocks and i'm getting blocks um just put some blocks on the ground and cover it around put some soil inside of there and well watch the entire video and but it's so so easy it's a perfect way for you to have your own little kitchen garden with just seasonings you don't have to be buying all the time you don't even need to buy seedlings even though if you did want to buy seedlings that's probably the better way to go because cutting and reusing seasoning over time these the plants do kind of die out so if you get a fresh seedling then you're starting really from base and then you get the majority of lifespan and then you just keep on cutting it little by little keeping it probably like three four inches um, from the soil and there's everything else you cut and you use that and just leave it and it'll continue growing back it's really really resilient seasoning of course if you'd like to you could also grow your seasoning inside of a tire like this a lot of people grow their seasoning and grow a lot of plants inside tires i have had and i still do have some misgivings about tires but if that is your best option then go for it i mean it's a perfect cheap free way to have a little garden and if that's what you have access to then definitely go for it i have had this celery growing inside uh this tire here for probably going on five six months now and it's just not letting up i just take a little bit on the side and as you think about seasoning it's not pulling out and reaching out the entire thing but just using it in moderation taking what you need not over abusing it so i won't pull out the entire thing or the roots from this unless i really want this space which i did want a while back but i've decided to just leave it because it's been doing so so well and like these leaves that are starting to get a little bit yellow on the outside i'll just cut those out use them not even pull it out you know just cut it just very close to the base and from there i would just leave the plant and then the inner stalks will start to form out from there and that's really one of the best ways to have celery growing over time really really nice and big and strong and giving you a lot a lot of seasoning for free in your garden this here was grown from one seedling that i bought a while back i think i, I think i got two um, for a dollar and i have had celery for the past five six months celery gets very expensive plant it and have it in your garden so that you don't need to go buying all the time when it's cheap of course but when it gets expensive and you can't afford it you shouldn't need to do without it you should have seasoning in your food and lastly, because I know you all are very important people with a lot of things to do, I'm not going to keep you very, very long. This is the last thing I'm going to show you, which is just a hanging PVC planter. I have a full video, a DIY, on how to have your own DIY planter, your own PVC planter, which looks really nice and chic as well to have on your wall. If you have no ground space at all, this is the perfect solution for you. I think in my harvest video, I showed you all this um, same site, and I, which is kind of funny, and I'm going to use the opportunity to make a joke, which is that right here I have same. And then here I have scythe, same scythe, okay. You should laugh, huh? Um, this scythe, I cut it in that harvest video and I told you all it would grow back and look exactly as I said. This is what I cut and the scythe just continued 
growing back up here and some of these were actually cut you can see that this one was cut right here and it grew back up and even these that were cut they're coming back up now this one i just broke it off i'm going to take it off because it's just going to stress the plant have you ever had side just like that it's not very good so i really hope that you have seen how simple it is to start your own season garden right at home the different ways that you could do it so it doesn't matter where you live in some way you can make an impact on your market bill by making some kind of decision to start your season garden in some way shape or form so remember you can follow us on instagram tiktok and on facebook to see more content coming from gardeners garden see more stuff in our season garden and feel free to tag us on any of those platforms where we're able to see what's going on in your family with your garden with your just your entire journey with this and we're able to help and encourage each other in any way possible remember as always this has been the long from the training gardeners channel reminding you Get up and get growing. Take care.